Yeah, I won the event 2017. I mean, Magnus plays there every year. I think he only missed the 2000... What year did he miss? 2000... I think Magnus didn't play in Wycombe in 2014. But other than that, he's been there. Okay, now it's the time for the King's Gambit. Thank you, Bishop23, for letting me play the Queen's Gambit, which is not a very good opening. And I have no idea how to play this with white. Um, at least g5 gives me a target. I mostly play d5 against uh, the king's gambit. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can play the king's gambit correctly. He plays h6. Uh, what do I play now? Let's develop with knight c3. And if he plays knight c6, he's threatening bishop g4. And uh, hmm. Okay, let's play h4, bishop g4, I have knight e2. Okay, knight g7 uh, seems like, uh, hmm. Okay, I have absolutely no clue how to play the king's gambit whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, in fact, white could very well just be lost in this position. Hi, Wesley Love from Canada. Thanks for keeping Filipinos in the spotlight. Yeah, thank you. Shout out to all the Filipinos, to all my uh, friends and fans out there. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, thanks for watching my games. Let's see if I can find an interesting question. What does a 2700 ELO know that a 2600 doesn't? Oh yeah, good question. What does, what's the difference of a 2600 to a 2700 player? Um, Okay, let me uh, getting busted here. Uh, knight h2 is no good. Bishop f4 is no good. I'll just play c3. Hmm, I could lose this game. Well, the difference of a 2700 and a 2600 is, is really just consistency. So 2700 players are more consistent. They're also more accurate. Um, they have better technique generally, but it's, it's, it's basically experience. The difference is experience, consistency, and technique. Hmm, I'm just a piece down. This is bad. I should have played queen e3. Okay, let's just try to play fast. And maybe we can uh, uh, attack him on the time. Yeah, but difference 2700, 2600, mostly consistency and technique. Um, yeah, this is bad. Okay. You have D5, ED. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about ratings. So if I lose this game, that's fine. Um, mm, mm. Can you speak Tagalog at least once? I would love to hear you speaking our language. Yeah, I'll try. I actually watch Roderick Navas streams from time to time, videos. So uh, uh, he speaks very well. Okay. Oh, he has a draw. Eh, if he takes the draw, that's fine. I mean, of course, he should play on because he's a couple of pawns up. And then Roderick Nava talks like David is like, um, maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood nitong aking mga Blitz games uh, here sa chess, sa chess 24. 